The Battle of Zhang Yang was fought between the warlords Sun Jian and Lu Biao in 191 in the late Eastern Han Dynasty. Lu Biao emerged victorious against Sun Jian's forces. Shortly after their coalition had ousted Dong Duo from the capital Luo Yang, Yuan Shu and Yuan Shao, two feudal lords vying for power, had formed alliances against one another, with Gong Sun San supporting Yuan Shu while Lu Biao supported Yuan Shao. Yuan Shu sent his subordinate Sun Jian to attack Lu Biao in order to extinguish Yuan Shao's influence in the southern half of China. Although Sun Jian initially outmaneuvered and outfought Lu Biao, he was killed in action and his army forced to retreat. The Battle Sun Jian and his forces encountered the forces of Lu Biao's general, Huang Zhu, between Fancheng and Deng. There, he easily routed Huang's forces and surrounded the city of Zhang Yang itself. Within the confines of the city, Lu Biao again sent Huang Zhu out, this time to make a surprise attack. However, Huang was again defeated, and when he attempted to withdraw to the city once more, Sun Jian cut off his line of retreat, and he fled to Mount Jian. Sun pursued Huang, hoping to follow up on his success. According to Sun Jian's official biography in Records of Three Kingdoms, he was fatally wounded by an arrow fired by a soldier in Huang Zhu's unit, who was hiding in a bamboo grove. Sun's men carried him away from the battlefield and he died from his injury later. Other theories of Sun Jian's death include Sun being killed while fighting in the wilderness, or being crushed to death by boulders rolled down by the enemy from above. Aftermath Sun Jian's death effectively ended the battle, although Liu's forces suffered far more casualties. Wan Ji, an official under Sun Jian, successfully negotiated for his lord's corpse to be returned, and Sun Jian's army temporarily came under the control of Sun Jian's nephew, Sun Ben. Sun Ben then went to join Yuan Shu with most of Sun Jian's followers. Sun Si, Sun Jian's oldest son, was given Sun Jian's Marquis Eight, but chose to pass the position down to his youngest brother, Sun Quang, who was still young then. Lu Biao's success allowed him to expand his influence in Jing province, though he would be unable to defeat either Sun Si or his successor, Sun Quan. He would nonetheless remain an influential figure in the Han Dynasty until his death in 208. In fiction, the battle and its justifications were altered in Luo Guanzhong's historical novel, Romance of the Three Kingdoms. In this fictionalized account, Sun Jian attacked Lu Biao for revenge because Lu's forces routed his army during his withdrawal from the coalition against Dong Zhuo. Sun Jian's younger brother, Sun Jing, attempted to dissuade him from this course of action, but Sun Jian refused to listen. Sun Jian's oldest son, Sun Si, was granted a command position and performed well in his first battle. After initially defeating Huang Zhu, Sun Jian's army surrounded Zhang Yang. Two commanders under Lu Biao, Chen Sheng and Zhang Hu, were killed by Sun Jian and Han Dang, respectively. Sun Jian was killed in a rock slide after being lured into a trap by Lu Gong and Huang Zhu, according to a ploy by Lu Biao's advisor Kui Liang. Sun Jian's generals Huang Gai and Cheng Pu managed to capture Huang Zhu and kill Lu Gong respectively, while Sun Si was forced to withdraw. Wan Jie's involvement in recovering Sun Jian's corpse is similar in the novel to the historical account. However, in the novel, Huang Zhu was released in exchange for Sun Jian's corpse when there is no mention of Huang Zhu's capture in historical text.